Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and we are finally <laughs> doing the Poco region again. I know, I know it's been a long time. Um, I'm planning on doing one of these more frequently, like every month or every other month, uh, but I would love to beef out the Poco region a little more. So thank you for your patience, but we're finally back with a new one. So for this one, if you couldn't tell by the title already, we're gonna be exploring the basically the first route bug types. So in the first game, you had like Caterpie and Weedle that would then evolve into Metapod and Kakuna, and then eventually into uh, Butterfree and Beedrill. So for this one, I wanted to do two, two evolution bug types, kind of like the newer games. A lot of, uh, there's like a spider one that I can't remember. <laughs> it's like a little electric spider. That one has just like a one evolution Evolution. Um, and I was kind of driving with the idea of these having just one single evolution instead of the three chain. So that's kind of my thought process for today. But I wanted to base these off of Arizona bugs. And that was the hard part of the brainstorming because, you know, in Pokemon, we already have a tarantula. We already have a scorpion. We have uh, a bunch of different spiders. So I was like, I don't know if a black widow will work perfectly. And then like, I just couldn't figure out what like, creature or what bug is very Arizona-esque outside of the scorpion. Like, I know I could have made like another version of the scorpion, but I was like, let's like try to push myself and try something very different or like maybe a creature that not everyone thinks of right away when they think of Arizona but they're still native to here. So it still kind of works for our poker region. So first off, we're gonna start with one of my favorite, but also least favorite bugs, <laughs> which is the stink bug. So the one in particular is uh, this one right here. It's actually an invasive species from Asia, but they are very prevalent here in Arizona. They are everywhere. And also why I picked this one was I have a permanent burn on my leg, like a little scar from one of these guys <laughs> from when I was a kid. It crawled up my leg and left a perfect little shape of itself like on my leg. And it's because apparently the stuff it could shoot out its butt actually burns. It's not just a stink bug, it's like acid. So that was great. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. Let's figure out what its first evolution is gonna look like and then what it will evolve into for its bigger form. So let's jump in and get some sketches started. I can't believe that we're finally back to making Pokemon for our Poker region. It's, it's funny because like, my time blindness is so different being on this side of making videos. I thought it had only been like a little while since we did a Pokemon one, but it has been a very long while. <laughs> so I'm really happy to be back into making some more for the Poker region. So I did do a little bit of Googling on the stink bug and I wanted to amend a statement I made earlier. So at least with this stink bug, it technically doesn't like shoot acid per se, but I guess the chemical compound that is made that makes the stinkiness some people have really bad allergic reactions to or just some type of skin reaction, which is probably what happened to me. It's really weird because it's like the perfect little shape of this bug that is on my leg forever. <laughs> and it kind of looks like almost like a birthmark, but I guess that is more uh, a reaction, not like a burn. So I wanted to amend that statement. These little guys are not the burny little fellas. But this one, the Pokemon one, I don't see why not. I think this thing should have some type of acid attack. <laughs> so at least with this initial concept phase, I had an idea of how I wanted to make the little guy look. Um, I wanted to have the same shape as our stink bug, but have some like different, uh, I guess, color parts to make it look more like a Pokemon instead of just brown. Um, I always love the Pokemon that have a lot of different colors. I know there's quite a few brown ones out there too, but I was like, I wanted to make this guy like green and purple to kind of reflect like the bug poison aspect of it. And I wanted him to look kind of like a leaf in a way. Uh, I feel these bugs have a very particular shape and texture that makes them look like a little dried up leaf. And so I wanted to add that within his design as well. So the first evolution is based off the stink bug that I had an encounter in. And the second evolution is the other stink bug in my reference pictures, which is this taller, skinnier stink bug that's a whole different type. So just FYI, <laughs> the first one is more of the Arizona, well, I guess the invasive Arizona stink bug. And then the second one, I forgot where the other one is from, but it is just another uh, version of the stink bug or another uh, breed. No, family. No, I'm forgetting the word, but you know what I mean. So anyway, with that out of the way, this little guy I thought was really cute. I wanted to add the little leaf uh, 
to the side because like I had an idea that it would look almost like a cute little mustache with his little front antennas. I love that the stink bugs have these kind of longer front mustachey antennas towards the front. And then I brought over the uh, kind of leaf mustache idea to the bigger evolution. I know it's not exactly a mustache. They look like more like long sideways mutton chops, <laughs> uh, but I thought it worked really well. I think it's really cute to have that little aspect. And then I wanted to keep like the number of legs, but I wanted this to look kind of like a, a bigger, beefier bug. So I thought, at least to myself for the second evolution, it would have these bigger outer arms that would be kind of like cannons. It makes me think of like the Blastoise cannons, but for their forearms. And they could like rocket out like the stink <laughs> that comes from them or even like an acid attack or something. I have a feeling this thing would also be able to do like the sweet scent attack. So maybe it blasts out of the little cannon arms. Um, and I basically kept the similar like color palette between the two because I for sure wanted it to look like the evolution. I know you can change color palettes, but I liked this color combo with like the oranges, the greens and the purples. I thought it worked really well for this one. And then of course I had to add a stink cloud. So <laughs> with our little stink bug, I could see like this cloud always being present <laughs> from its butt area. <laughs> um, and it could maybe like attack from there as well, but it would just kind of just always be there, this little weird cloud, kind of like how coughing always has like some type of stuff coming out of him a lot of the times in the concept art. And then the second evolution, I was like, it'd be really funny <laughs> if it was coming from its armpits. I just thought it would be really funny with the stink bug idea. It looks like kind of a weird, cool, nice padding, but it's 100% stink just coming out of its armpits. I thought of it just like coming out of like the cannons near the, the hand area, but it, it just didn't really work as well. So having it in the underarms, both is really funny <laughs> and I think it works really well for this design. Stinkla, the poison bug Pokemon. Stinkla is a small but potent bug. It constantly has a cloud of musk surrounding it that emanates from its tail end. The stench tends to keep almost all other Pokemon away from it. But if they are agitated, the stinking acid they spray towards their opponent will send them running. Reekler, the poison bug Pokemon. Wild Reeklers can be smelled from up to a mile away. The stench that emits from their underarms has been known to make trainers ill. It uses its large, cannon-like arms to project out the stench cloud and fire the acid it uses for attacks. All right, so that's our first Pokemon done for our Route 1 bug. This one was really fun to design, but let's go ahead and move on to our second one. So this one we've actually done like a monster mash of on the channel based off of the original creature. Um, and I've had a close encounter with one here in Arizona, so I thought it was very fitting. But for this one, I'm basing it off of the Tarantula Hawk. So I'll go more into detail about how this evolution is gonna work during our sketch phase and what I was thinking, but I had a very close call with this one as one got into my garage and like rushed me. And it's one of the most painful stings in the animal kingdom. So I'm very glad it didn't get too close to me. <laughs> God, the buzzing it makes is unreal. Like I thought other creatures buzzes were loud, but this one was really loud compared to other wasps I seen. So I thought this one would be perfect. They're all over Arizona. They're kind of all over the world in a way. I don't think they're just specific to here, but we see them all the time out here. So let's go ahead and get started and sketch up what we want to do for this one. All right, next up we have our wasp Pokemon, our tarantula hawk Pokemon. Uh, so this one, <laughs> I had a really kind of dark origin story for this one that I thought would be really interesting in this initial concept phase. So one of the things uh, that I found out about tarantula hawks while doing research for this is one of the reasons it's also called tarantula hawks is basically the adult version comes in, stings tarantulas and paralyzes them and then implants its larva into the tarantulas. So the larva basically grows and lives off of this tarantula. Uh, and over time, it eventually kills it because it's like eating it from the inside out. It's crazy. <laughs> so that was insane. I didn't even know that about these creatures at all. I was wondering why they were called tarantula hawks. My first thought was like, oh, maybe they like eat them. Like 
they unexpectedly are able to like sting them and then eat them and I, but then doing more research i'm like oh this is like way more than i thought <laughs> So for the, basically the first evolution sketch, my thought process was making the base Pokemon the larva of this uh, tarantula hawk, but then putting it as if it has like the husk of the tarantula on the outside. It's kind of like giving me, um, what is it? I can't remember his name, but there's a Digimon in uh, the first round of Digimon, I guess first generation. Um, and he's like a blue and yellow Digimon. So he had like a blue exterior, like furry coat type of thing that he would wear and hold on to. Um, I am forgetting his name, but it kind of gave me those vibes with how like the tarantula would hang over the first evolution. And then I carried that into the second evolution as well, because I didn't want a full departure from like the tarantula husk. <laughs> so I uh, brought that over into the second one and made it almost like an exterior coat. And for sure how it holds onto that exterior coat with those arms is giving me that, that one particular Digimon vibes. I should have looked them up before recording this voiceover, but that's at least where I was thinking after I finished this. I'm like, oh my gosh, it totally looks like that Digimon. <laughs> but yeah, so this Pokemon has a very like dark origin story in terms of like how it comes to be. And I could see this maybe being different per region. Like maybe it implants like its larva in the different uh, spider Pokemon that are in the different regions. So this one I picked like the most tarantula looking Pokemon that I could find. Um, and I mean, it's even in the name of this Pokemon. Like it, it's a tarantula spider. So it worked for this one, but it would be really interesting to see how different it could be in each region. Like it could have the different husk of the other like spider Pokemon on the outside, but then it'd be really interesting if it affected how the larva looked or how the final evolution looked. Like this could be those region specific like variants that we could have between uh, the different spider Pokemon. So maybe like it would change the color of the final like wasp Pokemon. Uh, maybe it makes it more in the color palette of the spider that it was uh, living in before, you know, I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. So let me know in the comments if there's a certain spider that you think would work really well with a para wasp evolution. Pomplavar, the bug ghost Pokemon. The origin of these cute monsters is as dark as they get. The adult para wasp paralyzes unsuspecting gallivantulas and implants their larva into them. As the Pomplavar grows, it eats away at the Gallivantula and fully consumes it and wears its husk. Parawas, the bug ghost Pokemon. This buzzing monster should not be taken lightly if encountered. Its large stinger already delivers a painful sting, but it also injects its adversary with a paralyzing venom. It leaves them helpless to the onslaught of stings and bites the Parawas will inflict. All right, there we have it. We have both of our Route 1 bug types. I think these turned out really fun. I had such a good time with these. And like, I don't know, I was just really driving with them. I struggled a little bit with some of like their initial sketching and design, but once I figured out kind of their final shape, I was really liking them. The Pokemon series is very interesting because I love doing style challenges, uh, but for some reason, Pokemon has always been like a fun challenge for me, but not like, I don't know, it's just hard. Like it's hard to simplify. I don't know how much detail to put in to make it Pokemon enough and not too much of my style. And then it's been interesting to figure out the coloring style as well, just cause it's, it's different from mine, but also kind of similar. It's weird, it's a weird in between. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think this is a really fun bug type to start off our Pokedex <laughs> for our Arizona region. Uh, so let me know what type you want to see next. Like if there's another starter route Pokemon, because I think we already did the birds. We've done the starter Pokemon and now we have the uh, starting route bug types. And then we also did two evolutions. I think that's the all the videos we've done so far. Uh, so let me know if there's like a certain Pokemon thing you want me to do. I know we still got the legendaries. Uh, we could probably do uh, the dogs, kind of like how we have like Growlithe or Houndour. We could do those. There's a lot of there's a lot of choices. So let me know down in the comments what one you want me to tackle next.
And then real quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your guys' support. If you would like to get early access to any of the artwork I make on this channel, plus high res versions of it, we're also launching a mail club here in November. So if you want to join that, you can check it out as well. But basically, if you want to help support my art career and journey on making content again and get some goodies for yourself, check out my Patreon. But again, thank you guys so much for stopping by, checking out this video. Please hit that subscribe button, the like button, leave some comments, help boost me in the algorithm because I really need it <laughs> with going into doing this full time. So I really appreciate any help you can give. But either way, thank you guys again so much for stopping by and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.